Hit on the beat, baby. Oh, this one thing right here. You watch me live, no doubt. Yes, the homies watch me live. Right? Yeah, catch me in that. You know, it's Leo. We won't be seen while we teach you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel uncomfortable that you only catching the screen. All right, nigga, shiny like a motherfucker. You ain't catching none of this situation. Yo, it's... Yeah, I'm sick. Okay, none of the three or no two out of the three can run concurrent at the same time. Meaning, when the white race evolved, the narrative, which is the Torah, that speaks about the Hebrews, the race doesn't exist around the same time the narrative has its inception. You feel me? We know there's no such thing as a Hebrew language. I would just challenge any brother from the Hebrew Israelite community to show me any documentation that exists during the time Hebrews exist where they qualify their language as Hebrew. That would never happen. It's an absolute fact. You can never show no documentation on planet Earth with anyone speaking Hebrew during the time you say the Hebrews existed. So, where are they from? Show me an ancient people that spoke Hebrew and called it Hebrew. You see? These are important questions. So I already know he's done. Intelligent people will see this point. I catch you out. Let's say you say the Hebrews were really the Sumerians. Okay, when did the Sumerians turn their doctrine into Judaism? He's finished. When in history, Sumerians decide I'm going to get rid of the Anunnaki or the Anunnaki. And I'm going to pick up Judaism. Show us in history where that took place. You won't be able to. You will have to postulate that a people wrote about everyone else except for themselves when they called themselves Hebrews. They wrote about everyone else. We got documentation of people talking about themselves. This is nothing that I can be challenged on. It's an absolute fact. I'm going to show you. Where the Hebrews? They'll say stuff like this. Ancient Hebrew, right? And that will intimate to you that there's a people who spoke ancient Hebrew and called what they did ancient Hebrew. All I'm doing is going into your scripture, dog. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. This is important. We up in there. You feel me? Because we doing the field research. And we enjoying ourselves, right? So watch this. That's my wife there. We know we had to go over there. People cannot do this. What am I talking about? We read the story. We went to the tomb. Also went to Cairo to see the body. How many times has the Hebrews given us a story? No tomb, nobody. Given us a story, told us what the tomb is, nobody. We got the story, we traveled to see the tomb, read the writing on the walls, take the pictures in the video, and then we went to see the body. So now watch this. This is our own authentic evidence, our own intellectual property. Oh, that's it. That's it. But I had to give the people something. But I just want you to know, whoever want to talk crazy, I, I got the greatest upper hand. Because I can show you what you're talking about. I can show you how you full of me. This is not metaphysical. This is not God as in the God who created everything. This is exactly what it stipulates. So when they say Ray in this instance, they mean the physical sun. Conceptually, what does this mean and represent? Well, they said Heru. What does Heru represent? The dawn. What happens at dawn? Resurrection. An awakening. You understand what I'm saying? An awakening takes place.